Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna to be doing something called a griddle chicken stack. Um, hopefully, it's gonna turn out cool. I was basically driving home from work, do, 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 and thinking to myself about using chicken, obviously getting the breast, flattening it, and then getting like a cookie cutter or biscuit cutter, and then like cutting the chicken into like a neat circle, and then building up a stack. So uh, that's how it sort of came about. You might not know this, but some of my recipes, I um, actually sketch them out how I want them to visualize, and this is kind of like how it's all gonna come together. So we should have a little stack like this. Um, but I'll uh, show you that in just a bit. So anyhow, these are all the ingredients you're gonna need. You might remember the other day we made a really funky honey mustard dressing, and we're gonna repeat that and use it in this recipe, okay? So these are all the ingredients you're gonna need. Hit pause on the video and write them down. And all we gotta do is uh, grate our lemon and limes as a normal, get the juice out of those, chop up our peppers into nice squares, flatten the chicken breast, put on our rice, and it'll all come together. It's gonna be cool. The rice I've gone for is this long grain and wild mixture, you know, the, you know, the black and white stuff. So, uh, you know, it's kind of cool, interracial rice, all good. So I've got a little pan of water on there, ready to boil, only gonna need a little bit. I'm actually gonna make a rice mountain, hopefully, with a cookie cutter too, and just build it up. Should, should be okay, so uh, let's get cracking, shall we? Yeah. Okay then, so this recipe involves a master dressing and we're gonna drizzle our watercress and chicken stacks in it. It's the honey mustard one, like I said before, so all we gotta do is get the zest off our lemon and limes and get the juice from all the lemon and all the lime. The rest is the honey, mustard, olive oil, and some ground black pepper. Really, really simple. So you see me do this on the last video, so let's just uh, get the zest and the juice from these lemons and limes. Fantastic, so in this glass we've got the juice of one lemon and one lime. It's very tempted to drink it, but then again you might make a citrus face a little bit like this. So uh, don't do that. Uh, so this is the evidence actually, we've taken the zest off the lemons and lime, all the juice out of those. And there is the zest, see it there, easy peasy. So we're just gonna get a big bowl now and we're gonna chuck all the ingredients in. We're gonna get a jug and reserve just a teeny bit of this dressing and I have that at the end on top of the stack, but the rest is gonna go with the watercress baby, yeah. Right ho, let's make this dressing. There is our bowl. First thing I'm gonna do is grab my Dijon mustard. There's no particular order of this. And just get a heaped tablespoon and plonk that in like so. Smelling good. Now, the same amount of honey. So this is uh, some runny honey. A tablespoon of that. Da -da 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 -da. It should be quite easy to recognize what's a tablespoon because you know, they look about around the same amount. Lemon and lime zest, in that goes. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Easy peasy this is, guys. <laughs> Lemon and lime juice, again, do not drink it. Straight in there. Ground black pepper. Not as much as you want, really. If you want to really push it to the max, you know, just really keep grinding, it's, it's, you know, it's completely up to you. And finally, the olive oil. Let's just go for that. Loads of that in there. Probably about four tablespoons equivalent. This is going to obviously balance it out. And we just get a spoon and stir it all together. Just show you. Can you see that? Okay, so we've got our master dressing here. Just, you know, have a little taste. Play around with it until you're happy with the flavours. I am loving that, but you might not be, so just keep going. Remember, it is your dressing. Cha-ching. I poured a little bit into a jug, like so, which is gonna go on our stacks at the end. But that is a dressing done. So we're gonna chuck our watercress in there right now, let it swim around, put it in the fridge, then we'll move on to the peppers. Yeah. Okay, guys, yeah, so the watercress straight in there. That has been washed, by the way, just in case you're wondering. Don't wanna have any dirty watercress. Just stir it around a little bit with a wooden spoon, making sure it's all nice and coated in there. That is gonna be awesome. Right here then guys, this is my pointing stick and microphone, cha-ching. Basically, I'm getting my rolling pin, smacking these chicken breasts that are in the freezer bag. It's gonna get them nice and thin, they're gonna cook faster, and it's gonna enable me to get my cookie cutter in there to make the circles. So just keep bashing away. Don't bash away too hard, you don't wanna split the bag, or uh, indeed split your breasts, because uh, splitting breasts is a bad thing. So bash away. Okay then guys, those chicken breasts are all nice and flat now, and ladies, I do apologise, there is a link between flat breasts and chicken fillets. Uh, I do apologise, we're not going to go down that route, but anyhow, look, we have got our cookie cutter there, and I've made incisions into both of the chicken breasts like that, see, making sure that I can get at least two out of each chicken breast. If you can get three out of it, I'll be very, very impressed, so uh, let me know. So all we're going to do now is use our cookie cutter to, doom, to make these discs. Let's go for it. Okay, so obviously a cookie cutter's got two different ends to it. You've got, you know, you've got the flat side like that, or you've got the funky uh, rigid bit like that, which is ideally more for cutting. But we're gonna go for this end, so it might be a little tougher. Let's just get that disc on there, push it down. Because the chicken is thin, it won't be too bad, so just go for it. You might need to work out a little bit, but you know, just go for it. 
Right, so my chicken discs are done. It was a little temperamental, I gotta admit. As you saw me starting to do, I was pushing down on the chicken breast, and what it was doing was actually squishing it together. You don't want that to happen. You know, the, the force of the going eh, eh, like that, the chicken was just giving in. So what I did in the end, I got the, the cutter like that, put it over the chicken, and then cut my knife around it like that to make the disc shape. So that actually did work out in the end. They're nice and thin, not gonna take very long to cook whatsoever. Remember, one chicken breast will give you two discs, okay? So depending on how many people you're cooking for, you need two discs per stack. So just just think about that, okay? I've got my water bubbling away here, and my rice is going in there. That actually takes 18 minutes to cook that rice, so I've got plenty of time to kill. In the meanwhile, all we need to do now is get our peppers cut and prepared. Okay guys, so with the peppers, get yourself a new knife rather than the one you used on the chicken. Um, in fact, I was thinking the other day, maybe I should name my knives, I don't know, maybe I'll call this one um, Maximus, I don't know. So all I've done, as you can see, on the yellow one, taking off the top and the bottom, and then you're just gonna cut out that inside core, like so. Do it both sides, do 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 do. Just push that in, like that. And that bit should pop out, and get rid of your seeds. And what we're gonna do is work our way around that bit, have it along there as well, so let me just show you. If I just show you a little square like that, imagine that. So you've got two funky squares like that. So we just want to cut our peppers up easy peasy like that. Okay, so my pepper squares are all done like so. All we're going to do is get these on the griddle pan first of all. Can you see that just in the background there? That griddle pan there. I'm going to warm that up in just a bit. I want the peppers to cook for ages because the more you cook them, the more the flavour comes out of it. You get them nice and soft. It's going to be amazing. The chicken's going to join it in the griddle pan and then the peppers, we're just going to push them boom, 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 to one side and just start to build our stack. Yeah. Okay, so this griddle pan's nice and hot now. There's some olive oil in there. All I'm gonna do is get my peppers and just spoon them on like so. Let them cook away, just spread them out a bit. And that, my friends, is gonna be darn good. Keep your eye on those. Your rice is cooking away over there. You can see there, all good. It's going well. Right then, guys, we are nearly there. But before we do, I wanna give a big shout out to my friend, Ashley Bridgman. So, hi, Ash. How's it going, mate? Anyhow, peppers, there. Look at that, all nice and scorched. I love that, they go so sweet. When they get that nice little black finish on it, all griddled through, nice and soft. You can smell it. You can smell it, I can smell it. It's amazing. We're gonna push these to one side around the edge of our pan, like so, to form a nice little area. This is where all the heat is in the griddle pan, where our chicken is gonna go, which is sat right here. My rice is very nearly done too. That's all softening up. I'm gonna just put that in a bowl, and we'll start to build up the rice mountain. So, let's get the chicken in the middle of that griddle pan. Can you see that? I hope you can. Let's just go for it. All I'm going to do is use a fish slice. I know it's a bit of a weird pun, but we're going to use a fish slice to get these discs on there like that. So I'm going to do two at a time. Be really careful with it. Right, that's been about 90 seconds on that chicken, so I'm just going to get some tongs and turn it over. Wow, that is our first set of chicken discs done. Loving that. Keep going. Okay, so those are my first chicken discs. They have shrunk a teeny bit, so what I'm gonna do is get the next size cookie cutter down to help build up the rest of the stack. So I'll put my next two on. Obviously, if you're using a bigger griddle pan than me, just put all your chicken discs on at the same time. All good. I'm about to drain off my rice. Things are moving good. Yeah. Okay, guys, our griddle session is done. The chicken is all there, as are the peppers. I am loving the look of those. Absolutely amazing. Our dressing with the watercress there, the rice at the back all drained off, and the spare dressing which we're going to drizzle over the top of the chicken discs in just a bit. So, let's get a plate there and uh, build a stack. There's our plate. Let's get a nice chicken base on there first of all, like so. I'm probably going to put two on this plate, so let's put that there, give it some space. And obviously there's going to be the watercress going around it too. Let's grab ourselves a smaller cookie cutter, like that, and put the rice to build it up. Yeah, so all I'm doing is spooning my rice into the cookie cutter, which will hopefully give it a nice circular shape. So it's almost like building a sandcastle on the beach. So build it in there, make sure you pat it down. Don't push it too hard, otherwise it'll fall off the sides. So we're going to leave this in there just to do its thing. Okay, so that rice has been sat in there for about a minute just to rest us to try and hold the shape of the cookie cutter. So I'm just going to slowly lift it off now. Really, really slowly, actually. This is like a steady hand. James Bond, Indiana the Jones sort of moment. Just a little bit. Okay, cool, that'll do. Now we are gonna get a little bit of our watercress salad, just a teeny bit. Just put that on the top like that. Now we're gonna grab our peppers, okay? Cool. Yep, so I'm just literally placing my peppers on top now. Not too much weight on there, just enough. You wanna make sure that surface on the top is nice and flat, because we are now gonna put our second bit of chicken on there. So uh, let's go. Okay, so here is our second chicken disc. I'm just going to put that on at the top like that. That is our stack done, so we just need to grab our baste, pour a teeny bit of that over the top like this. And that is it. 
Let's build another stack next to it and get our salad around the side. Groovy. Right guys, those stacks were done. So all I've done is put a little bit of watercress on the side. In fact, I'll put some more like that just to sort of buff it out a little bit. In fact, you could grab a few more peppers if you want and start to chuck those all in there as well. Completely up to you. Let me hold it up there to the light. Hopefully I don't tip it over. Check that out. That is it all done. Our flashy chicken stacks. Let's see what they taste like. Yummy. Right here then guys, it's here. I'm feeling a little bit emotional because I don't want to break into it. It kind of looks cool, but I'm really surprised and happy and joyous that it works. So um, give it a go for sure. Um, as you can see, the, the funky dressing on the top is giving it a nice yellowy layer. Under there we've got the grilled chicken, the vegetables, the watercress, the bed of rice, and that other second chicken layer. It's loving it. So let's get straight into it. Let's just break straight into it like that. Oh look, it's just falling apart. Bit of pepper on there, bit of watercress. Let's just... Oh, it's a man's mouthful there. Or, or women, sorry. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Wow, we've got that real sort of char grilled flavour from the griddle pan. The lime going in there, the honey and the mustard. I am loving that. A little bit emotional that I destroyed it, but if I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself, maybe mix it up a little bit. I mean, how you get on. You know, send me some photos. I like it when you do that. And I'll see you again next time. Love ya. High five!